Okay, how are everybody doing out there? Uh, I just got to watching a video uh, about YouTube Shorts. Now, my take on YouTube Shorts is that uh, they, they really made a big deal out of YouTube Shorts and what it's supposed to do, the monetization, and uh, try to do YouTube Shorts according to what your existing program is, so says mine is gardening and traveling and stuff like that, so, it's, so my YouTube Shorts should, should be close to what I'm doing. Uh, that subscribers might get turned off by by this and that, this and that kind of thing. My take on YouTube Shorts is that uh, I have the long range plan goals of doing YouTube stuff. They've already are in the works. Everything that I want to do, but if in between times. I see something funny or, or I see something that's out of place and I think I might want to uh, take it or something historical and I think it has some value to somebody and I want to make it short that I want to make it, that I want to take that video. Now posting it is another story. Like I said, I like to post my stuff as soon as I get it and the length of it. First they said it should be 50 seconds, or just under 60 on certain things. But now it's like 30 seconds for this and that, for, for YouTube Shorts, okay? Well, my thing is this. I've been doing YouTube Shorts automatically without even knowing they was YouTube Shorts, just like I said before. And someone like five seconds, 10 seconds, but they said it's got to be at least 15 seconds so that the audience, you, subscribers, and other viewers could enjoy the content. My own thing about that is uh, they said certain things like tags are not that important now, but I still put tags on it because I just learned how to, to do tags. Then they say... Uh, 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 I was asking questions of, uh, via chat because they didn't get to me this time about end, end screens and cards, okay? Now, I know for a fact after trying over and over again that cards and the end screens which if you have vid queue it's supposed to uh, let you do that, but if if the video the short is less than I think 30 seconds, then you can't put an end screen or a card. That's my dilemma, and that uh, some scratches are turned off. Well, my thing is this. Uh, they said they got a special feature on there which uh, tells you uh, not to be notified. It automatically, if you find out that you have this certain button on your laptop, that don't, if, if you're not into YouTube short and it's going off the path that you as a subscriber or viewer expect of me then you should uh, click on it. But all that to me is self-defeating because I would say that if that's not what you want to see, then, then just don't watch it because it should have a number of seconds describing it as a YouTube short, even though uh, it, it, it might not say short or beta, okay. Well, therefore, uh, uh, so therefore, that could get kind of confusing. So I do YouTube shorts because that takes up space, 
and it helps me create better content if I keep practicing on smaller projects that just pop up in my head or just pop up when I'm somewhere and I need to take that particular particular video. So that's my take on YouTube Shorts. I hope that uh, because I do YouTube Shorts that uh, you as subscribers if you see this video uh, don't get just turned off if it's on some other subject uh, I think that's um, I think it doesn't make sense because they really make a big deal out of it now I'll probably have a playlist of just shorts but you know if something is a short or something one of my videos related to the short I'm just following the guidelines of YouTube because if I have VidQ, VidQ will tell me exactly what I want to do. It's not necessarily right. In fact, when you put end screens on some of them shorts, it covers up the whole thing anyway. Well, anyway, that's my whole take about YouTube shorts. And if you're a subscriber or if you do videos yourself, uh, keep that in mind whenever we do YouTube Shorts. I think it's a, a, a very good way of practicing your craft in a very quick way and that maybe that would uh, continue to give you practice for your main video logs. Okay, with that in mind, I'll talk to you later.